What's up guys, welcome back to Skip's Guns. So, if you guys remember a couple of videos ago, I announced a semi-partnership with a holster company for P365s with Icarus Precision Lowers, and that company was none other than Superstition Concealment. They make some really impressive holsters, and uh, it's kind of hard to find a holster for an Icarus Precision Lower, especially when you start adding things like lights and stuff like that. So I figured today would be a great way to do a little follow-up and kind of just show you what we're working with here. I don't have a belt on, unfortunately, so it doesn't actually look the best when it's pulling out of the holster, but I will tell you this. It is ridiculously comfortable, and I don't even feel like I'm wearing a gun. So, what do we have today? We have my P365 with a Strike Industries upper on top of it. Uh, this is a upper that I have not tried before. It is very stylish looking, and then what we did was we fit it with a Parker Mountain Machine Works barrel and comp. This is the new version with the lack of loaded chamber indicator on the top. And then from there, we have a DPM recoil kit. We have a um, trigger job done by yours truly, a TLR-7A from Streamlight. And then we have the Icarus Precision Macro Lower Aluminum Setup. That is literally my favorite you are going to notice that this gun has thumb safeties on it and they look a lot different than anything that you have seen because you've never seen them and that is because they are unavailable they are a one-off item as of right now they're a demo version my buddy sig mechanic has basically designed these sent me a set and uh if enough of you end up wanting them and you comment in my videos as well as his videos I will put a link to his channel in the description if you are interested um, he will start to produce them it's just he wants to make sure that it's worth his time in doing this because it's not exactly easy to do stuff like that so from there we have an Align Tactical Magazine release button and a Hollow Sun EPS full size with a TTI base plate so now we got 21 rounds so if you need a holster go check out Superstition Concealment. They will hook you up with some awesomeness. And if you guys are interested in anything like, uh, I don't know, Icarus Precision Parts, Hollow Sun stuff, Trigger Jobs, watch more of my videos and uh, I don't know, maybe it'll point you in a direction to get some upgrades done. So let me pull this puppy out, make sure she is loaded and take a couple of shots. And this is actually one of my carry guns, so uh, you're welcome. <laughs> the best part about this gun is it's so small that you really don't even feel like you're carrying a gun. But with all of the modifications and all of just the awesomeness, basically, that we've done to this thing, you are pretty much shooting a full-size gun. I mean, watch the recoil on this. It's basically nothing. For a as small of a gun as this is, this was the 3.1 inch version, and now obviously with the compensator on the front of it, you're looking at around 3.7 inches. Uh, this is the size of what the macro is now. It's just you have a uh, additional compensator on the front of it so in reality you are not you're, you're getting a ton of parts but you're not getting a bigger gun and it shoots like a much bigger gun i don't know how else to say it it is incredibly accurate the gun is super comfortable to shoot it it's hitting at 50 yards like nobody's business and honestly it is just, uh, it's a hell of a looker too. This is my first time using this Strike Industries slide and I really do like it a lot. It comes with two little charging paddles that you can put on the back of it. 
I think that helps a lot with loading it. And uh, obviously, once you have um, everything put together and you're really going to see a difference to how this gun looks as well as functions. I mean, what could be better than one of these guns, honestly? Hold on, actually. Hold that thought. Because I, uh, I actually have something a little bit better. So here's its bigger brother. Now, I've shown you guys this before, but this is basically the identical gun to that little fella. Except this gun is the bigger brother of that gun. What do I mean by that? So let me grab it real quick. This gun, like I said before, is the 365X with the barrel and comp on it. This gun is the 365XL version with the barrel and comp on it. So you're basically now moving up into like a Glock 17 size gun instead of a Glock 19 size. And you really can tell the difference with how this gun shoots. But more importantly, if you need a holster for this gun, Superstition Concealment has you covered literally because it fits in the exact same holster. So the best part about it is when it's in this holster, the comp isn't sticking out past the holster, so you're not burning your junk. So let's see how this guy shoots. So as you can see, they both shoot really well. The impulse control, the reciprocation, just everything about this gun is simply just amplified. Like that gun, you get a really comfortable shot. It is a perfect, perfect carry gun. But then when you move up to this one, you're still getting that ease of concealment that you get with a 365, but you are getting a much bigger platform. So you could carry this gun or you can use it as your bigger versioned gun, bring it out and shoot at 100 yards with this thing. This is literally a do-it-all gun either one of them are because the 365 platform is so much thinner than all other guns this really does conceal probably one of the best concealed guns if if i had to pick a 365 would absolutely be the one that i choose and the one that i do choose so what do we have on this gun this is a 365 xl we have suppressor height sights from sig a Parker Mountain Machine Works barrel and comp. Then we have an Icarus Precision slide. And this slide is absolutely insane looking. You have a wraparound serration over the top. You have these windows on both sides showing off the barrel. It is cut for an optic. And that is the Romeo Zero footprint. So what I've done here is I actually use a full-size EPS and put it on here so you get the enclosed emitter and then you get a full giant sized window to be able to really get the most out of this thing and then from there we went inside we did a m carbo titanium striker and their new designed end cap to conceal everything in the back and then we went down to the bottom of the gun and we have streamlight sending us a new tlr 7 x now what the hell is that that is the same kind of setup as a tlr 7a but this has a rechargeable battery in it so no more fumbling around trying to buy batteries you simply just take the battery out plug it in and charge it i will do a dedicated video just to give you guys an idea but uh it's it's legit i think this is the new style that they're going to go with with having rechargeable batteries because it's just brighter at this point now uh from there you're going to have our recoil kit and our sgz trigger job done an aligned tactical magazine release button and of course the tti ba ma magazine base plate giving us 21 rounds instead of 17 and like i said this thing shoots like a full-size gun. So, so the true question is, which one would you guys pick? Now, in my opinion, 
I don't think it really matters because they're both awesome. Just buy them both. Uh, one of the coolest parts about these guns is everyone that's involved in these things really cares about what they are producing. And whether it be Icarus Precision or Parker Mountain Machine Works or shit, even Hollow Sun or even us at SGZ, you're going to get a really awesome setup. And that's really what it's all about in the end. I mean... Like I said before, bringing on Superstition Concealment was something that I really, really was interested in doing. And not only just because I wanted to find a good holster company, but I wanted to be able to just step up to the next level. And I found that every time I would put a video out on one of these guns, you guys would ask about a holster. So it really became almost like a mission. And then when I saw these holsters... I literally just had to get in touch with these guys and this guy was nice enough to send this thing out free of charge uh, he didn't even ask any kind of like oh please make a video or anything like that super cool dude he literally just was tired of not being able to find a holster that he was interested in that would work for his needs so he started making his own and I can completely appreciate that so guys I mean dead ass you need to go check out superstition concealment because here's this size perfect fit perfectly safe and then here is its bigger brother perfectly safe i mean this is what i was talking about before it doesn't stick out of the front it's got all of these little things that are going to help the gun just stay inside instead of falling out it really does speak to the uh, the way that people want to modify things for the better. And I love this because not only do I love upgrading guns, but I love companies that also do it. And that's really what the whole two-way community is about. So uh, I really hope that you guys consider taking a look at Superstition Concealment because... The guy deserves to have a lot more holsters sold. And he doesn't just do SIGs, so you're going to want to go check him out. I'll put a link below in the description. And uh, you can definitely go check out his IG and stuff like that. It's really worth it. I'm telling you, don't sleep on them. And like I said, this is going to be the holster that I tell everybody to go get. Because, I mean, I'm using it. I think it's a great holster. And, uh... It really just speaks for itself. Now, on top of that, you get these ridiculously awesome guns. So, let's continue here. So, I'm going to do a couple of rounds with the little guy. couple of rounds with the big guy I mean these both shoot almost identical and it's kind of crazy being that they're two different sized guns that is the coolest part about a p365 is this versatility of these things so uh if you guys want to see anything else on these guns, I also have two other 365s that I'm going to do a couple of other kind of modifications to. And then we're going to see how they all compare to one another. But um, until then, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would really say that you need to go check out everybody that I talked about in this video because they are awesome. And uh, don't forget... Stay safe, believe, and achieve, and we'll check you later.